Hello XL, Arctic2k here, and welcome to my quick guide on reservation. So what is it? Reservation is the act of reserving either mana or life. So you can see here this silver bit is the reserved bit, and you can see reserved 822. So what reserves mana? These are skills that rather than casting like this, where they use mana which charges back up, they sort of pre-reserve so they're up all the time. An example of this is this aura here called Zealotry. In exchange for 31.45% of my mana, it's giving me 28% increased spell critical strike and 12% more spell damage. If we switch it off, you'll see all the mana it was holding is now released. I switch all of them off and you'll see I now have a full mana bar which is charging back up. There are sort of three categories of skills that use mana reservation. There's auras, which are always up buffs such as Determination, which gives us a flat amount of armour, and more armour. There's also Heralds, such as Herald of Ash, which gives us a constant fire buff. And I sort of put Tempest Shield into that category, because it's also available in Act 2. And it also does not have the aura tags. And then on top of that, there are Mines. Mines reserve mana temporarily when you throw the mine until the mine detonates. We will see here in the case of this mine, as I'm throwing it, it is temporarily reserving some mana, and as soon as they detonate, they'll go back. Now to make you able to see that, I actually increase the mana that that cost. You wouldn't normally do that in this real scenario, but we can here. And the way you increase or reduce the amount of mana something uses is by the multipliers on supported gems. So this reserves three mana. This gives us a 300% cost and reservation multiplier. So our three is now nine mana per mine. There are also gems such as Enlighten. Now these are drop only. These have a multiplier that is less than 100%. So this one has a 92% because it's level three. At level 4 it would reduce 12%. You can see here that 422 of our mana is reserved when we're using both Tempest Shield and Determination linked to Enlighten. If we unplug Enlighten, that 422 goes up to 459. Now you can also reduce the amount of mana you're reserving by something called Reservation Efficiency. This helmet here has 16% increased mana reservation efficiency of skills. Take this helmet off, the 422 will go up to 465. But on the tree, we also have reservation efficiency. Now there are four nodes like this scattered around the tree. There's one here, there's another one here, here, and finally here. In the center of all these, you have reservation mastery, where you can get 15% increased mana reservation efficiency of skills. You tend to get this whenever you're getting one of these clusters. It should also be noted that certain skills can get reservation efficiency off their masteries themselves. So in the armor mastery, for instance, we can get 25% increased mana reservation efficiency on determination. Now, not all these nodes are the same. This one up near the Templar is the strongest on the tree. It grants 28% increased mana reservation efficiency. This one here between the Marauder and the Duralist simply gives us 20%. Now, how does reservation efficiency work? It's a very simple formula. Reservation the gem takes divided by the addition of all reservation efficiency as a percentage, plus 100%. This table here shows you that with Reservation Efficiency, as we get to 100%, we half the skill's cost. However, when we get to 200%, it's a very small difference. A 10% jewel will go down to 5% at 100% Reservation Efficiency. It only drops to 4% with a 200% Reservation Efficiency, gaining us 1%. It's slightly better on the bigger 50% one, but it still only gives us an extra 8%. So how do we reserve life instead of mana? We do that through Blood Magic. That can be done with this passive here, which removes all our mana, gives us 10% more maximum life, and skills cost life instead of mana, and skills reserve life instead of mana. It can also be done with an item that grants blood magic, such as Malachi Simula. If we put this on, you'll see that our mana completely disappears, we don't have any. And instead, life will start to be used for reservation. Not only is life used for reservation, but also casting is used, because we have no mana at all, it's zero. So you might be asking, why on earth would we ever want to do this? Less life is less survivability. This is for low life builds. And if you're using petrified blood. Petrified blood is basically an aura, which means you can't go above 50% with regeneration of life unless you use a flask. That means that 50% of it is completely useless, so you want to fill it with auras. On top of that on the tree, we have this node here called Pain Attunement, which gives 30% more spell damage when on low life. Low life is classed as 50%, so what we do is we use auras to block ourselves up to 50%, and then we get 30% more damage. You tend to only do that with large energy shield builds, of course, because otherwise this would have very little life and will probably die very quickly. There is another common way of reserving life that doesn't use full blood magic. This shield called Prism Guardian. 
What this does is gives us 30% increased reservation efficiency, but also socketed gems cost and reserve life instead of mana. Transfer these over, activate Tempest Shield and Determination, you'll see that we've now used a little bit of life. Now every other aura we have will still continue to use mana. It should be noted that only support gems that affect reservation affect the mana reservation, so lower mana cost of skills will not affect the amount of reservation you use. In addition here we got Tempest linked to Life Tap. Life Tap is not using life because it affects the cost of life instead. However, it still does get the reservation multiplier of 300%. So a Tempest Shield which normally reserves 25% of mana is actually reserving 47%. So if we take life tap off you'll see it's massively reduced and you should make a note of this whenever an aura seems like it's consuming too much mana it probably means you've accidentally linked it to the wrong skill as life tap changes the life cost of skills arrogance changes the reserve cost of skills if we plug in arrogance you'll see that we're reserving life instead of mana now it should also be noted that we're doing that at 220 percent so it's very very expensive now reservation isn't all equal Different skills will use it slightly differently. One type of skill gives you a fixed percentage of mana reserved, whereas another gives you a fixed number depending on the level of the gem. If we look at these two gems side by side, Clarity and Zealotry, you'll see that Clarity reserves a fixed amount of mana, which is 76 mana. If we level the gem up, it will consume more. On the other hand, Zealotry uses a fixed 50% of mana, which won't go up depending on our level. It should be noted that any gem that uses a fixed amount you can fit in more auras by simply increasing your mana pool. But when you have a percentage mana reservation, it will make no difference to your overall mana pool because 50% of your mana pool is still half fit if it's a hundred or a thousand. I hope you found this video useful. You now know everything I do about reservation. And with that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.